As we draw near to the end of our little adventure here on Courage, I noticed we have a lot of Old Testament examples, which is fantastic, but I really wanted to kind of see what was in the New Testament because, again, I just believe strongly that really our courage comes from this place in and through Christ. We are in Christ uh, through the cross. So started to explore and, and recognize just this little pattern of Paul and his writings post-Christ now, uh, would often use the same rallying cry that we that we hear from Joshua about taking courage. And so I just wanted to draw that out today. Uh, in particular, I want to read you the scripture in 1 Corinthians 16, verses 13 and 14 that says, Be on guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong, and do everything with love. And then in the message, I notice it says, keep your eyes open, hold tight to your convictions, give it all you've got, be resolute, and love without stopping. So all those things, you know, encompass what we've been talking about with courage. But then something hit home when I read it in the English Standard Version, the ESV. Be watchful, stand firm in the faith, act like men, be strong, let all that you do be done in love. And wow, that one just kind of kicked me right in the chest. This obviously is not just for men, but you as our target audience here with Iron Edge, mostly men, uh, I just wanted to point out that part of being a man in Christ is acting in courage and acting with courage, being courageous. So obviously it's not, it's not about the machismo, right? It's not about the macho man always, um, but... It is a call to us as men in Christ. So there's something else that's really compelling about that scripture that tells us, though, what should motivate us. It's not, you know, always the, the physical response to a battle or, or something of that nature. But the motivating thing should be love, love for our families, love for our communities, love for our church, love for our faith, right? Love for our God. That should be the thing motivating us to act courageously. And I just wanted to point out this great scripture. Um, and, and also, let's end with this uh, incredible quote from Billy Graham, who once said that courage is contagious. When a brave man takes a stand, others are often inspired to do the same thing. So we just believe that as we become courageous and as we take a stand, that others will become courageous also, just literally acting out the way God designed them to be as men of God.